guys welcome back to my youtube channel i'm so excited you guys decided to click on my video because today i think i have a pretty cool video for you guys maybe it's because i like watching these but again i'm like obsessed with handbags so <laughs> but today i will be talking about all of the handbags i have sold and the reasons why i wanted to make this video just because i think it's been like about a year since I, i've started my handbag collection and my collection has already changed a lot i have gotten rid of a lot of bags and i do want to talk to you guys about why i have gotten rid of them so if you're looking to buy any of these handbags this will kind of let you know the reasons why i decided to get rid of it and maybe that can help you make a better decision for you in the future so let's just go ahead and get started before we get started, however, I do want to make a little tiny note. Just explain that when I buy a handbag, I buy a handbag because I genuinely love her, not because I'm looking on making money off of her or I'm like looking to make a profit or anything. I buy handbags because I absolutely love them and I think that they're going to be a great investment in my wardrobe. That doesn't always turn out to be the case, which is probably why I've let them go. If I sell my bags, it is for a reason, and I will get to all of those reasons now, but I just want to let you guys know that that is not what I do. I have been trying to like get rid of a bag to buy a bag and be more conscious about that, but it's not because I'm trying to make money off of my bags. That's not at all what I do or what my collection is about. So I just wanted to like make a little note about that just before we got started because, yeah, <laughs> I just thought it was necessary, so now let's get started a lot of my bags i have actually sold through fashion file or i have sold to my friend before i really sell a bag i try to always post it on my instagram so if you're not following me follow my instagram so if i'm ever selling one of my handbags you can get first dibs on that and whenever i don't sell it to somebody i know on my Instagram, I always just resort to Fashion File or those third-party co-signers, resellers on Instagram. I don't think I really have like this efficient way of reselling my bags. It takes me a while, I think, to sell my bags most of the time. So whenever I just want something fast, I typically just go to my Fashion File at the Neiman Marcus in the Scottsdale location here in Arizona. So that is how I go about selling my bags. The first bag I'll start off with is the last bag I have sold for my collection. And that is the small YSL Kate in the green croc embossed with the silver hardware and with the tassel. This bag was absolutely gorgeous. It was just so beautiful to look at and so beautiful to, ha beautiful to have on my shelf. But the one thing I could not stand about this bag while wearing it was the tassel i think i would have 100 percent kept this bag if it did not have that tassel i wish it could have been removed like i could have just removed it and then kept the bag because that would have made this bag so perfect but the tassel one i think made it really dress up like very very dress up very elegant very like night out so whenever i kind of wanted to just throw it on and like take it to the grocery store i really couldn't because it was it just seemed too extra with the tassel and another thing about the tassel was that it was so annoying. I swear to God, that tassel was the worst to deal with. It made it so hard to get in and out of the bag. It was just so insanely, like, difficult to work with. At the end of the day, although I love the bag and I gave it so many tries, I had to sell it. I just thought I'd use the money from that bag to buy myself a bag I would use in the future. So, yeah, that is the reason why I sold my YSL. The next bag I'm going to talk about is my Louis Vuitton Speedy 30 in the monogram, monogram, monogram canvas. The reason why I let go of this bag, and there was really nothing wrong with this bag. I absolutely loved it. I think I would still have it um, if there wasn't this one issue I felt that it had. It isn't an issue because I bought it knowing this. So I bought it in the monogram that has the vachetta. And I absolutely love the clean, super fresh vachetta look. And it started darkening like the slightest bit and it just freaked me out. I thought I just couldn't bear to see it get really dark. That was always in the back of my mind. So I just decided to get rid of it because I don't think it was worth me to keep like worrying about it so much. I do love monogram, I do love Vachetta, but I think I'm gonna start gearing away from that just because I don't like like my things to age and I like to preserve them how they are and the Vachetta isn't gonna preserve itself. Like unfortunately, it will get darker with time. 
and I just couldn't bear seeing that so that's why I got rid of my speedy so this is a tough one and it kind of hurts you know all the stuff I'm gonna say about it but it has to be said just in case you guys want to buy this bag the next bag that I got rid of um, before my speedy was the off-white Jitney 2.8 it's the one that had the not for sale writing on it that I think was one of my favorite bags in my collection for a long time but just like the green white cell, it was my favorite just to look at. Wearing it was a complete hassle. It looked beautiful on, don't get me wrong. It was very casual and very dress up. My one problem with it, the one thing that would make me not want to wear it, was that darn turn lock. So how you this bag was really hard to wear, it was because of that turn lock. It would not have like a magnetic clasp to then turn the lock and then unturn it and then it would open and then kind of magnetic its way back to the bag it wouldn't do that so it was so hard to close the flap like you had to keep rubbing trying to kind of get you know the clasp to hook and then you turn and then it's still open because you actually don't get it that was so annoying i had several people every time i would wear it tell me like hey girl your bag's open that was kind of embarrassing just because i thought they were saying that they like my bag so i'd be like oh thank you and then they'd be like no like your bag's open and i was like oh thanks thanks so that's why i got rid of it i just hated wearing it because that turn lock was so difficult like it was extremely difficult i honestly hated wearing it and it was so inconvenient it is a beautiful bag however so if you don't mind that and you like can take the time to like hook it down and clasp it and turn and make sure it's like hooked that's perfectly fine the bag will serve you looks like no doubt that bag will look beautiful but it just was not functional in that way for me and that irritated me so much so that is the reason why i got rid of my off-white bag although it was so beautiful on my shelf the next bag I'm going to talk about is the gray YSL Kate in the size medium, I think it was. The Kate is such a perfect bag if it doesn't have a tassel. If it doesn't have a tassel, literally that's one of the best bags I think YSL has and offers. I think if you're looking to buy your first luxury handbag, the perfect first handbag would definitely have to be the YSL along with others. But I think the YSL Kate is definitely one of the best first luxury handbags to buy just because it is so useful you can wear it out at night at the club and you can wear it out to the grocery store i had no negatives for this bag it was so durable the leather was absolutely phenomenal the hardware was gorgeous i just got rid of it because i think i overused it and it's a good thing like i loved the bag and she gave me everything she needed to give me and i thought it was just time to part ways and let her go so she could let something else into my collection so i have nothing negative to say about that gray ysl it was definitely a great bag but it was just time to let her go i wore her way too much i outdid her she served me good and she was definitely worth every penny i paid for her another bag that is very much like the gray ysl is definitely the gucci marmont i had a small gucci marmont with the gg canvas in like the shiny uh gold there was nothing wrong with that bag at all it was definitely one of my favorite handbags in my collection but just like the ysl i overused her like i just wore her out way too much she did everything she was going to do for me and i think the day it was just time to let her go i bought two other bags the horse bit and the dionysus in the gg print canvas so i thought why have three with the same print i need to get rid of at least one i do regret it a slight bit just because i do miss her sometimes but i do have other bags that serve me the same purpose but that is the reason why i got rid of my gucci marmont okay this one hurts a little bit next <laughs> We have the infamous Red Prada Galleria, I think in the size medium. The reason why I got rid of it was because I actually was not wearing her as I hoped. Like, it was just not blending with my wardrobe as much as I thought it would. I think the full, like, 11 months I had that bag, I think I only wore it, like, four times. It was such a beautiful handbag, and the Galleria is, like, a dream. It's definitely a classic. And I sold it to one of my friends, so... It made me happy that it went to a good home and that it's like loved and it's worn a lot. I definitely did not plan really to sell this bag. It just happened. I thought I really was going to keep this bag forever. And just, you know, wear her whenever the occasion came up. 
But yeah, I just had the opportunity to sell it to one of my friends and it just worked out to be that way. The next handbag is the handbag that started this whole YouTube journey for me. That is the Hermes Her Bag in the Hermes Orange. And I don't regret that one. That Buying the bag was one of the best experiences of my life, but that wasn't enough to keep me attached to the bag. So yes, although it was like breathtaking, it was just so beautiful, it smelled delicious. Like that bag smelled so good, but I had to sell it because I bought it in like June of 2021 and I think I only used it two times. The Her Bag is a cloth handbag that resembles the Kelly, the Hermes Kelly. So because it was cloth, it would just make me extremely, extremely nervous to wear it. I just didn't see like the reason why I was just keeping it and not wearing it. So I sold it and I don't regret it. It was a great experience buying that bag. And it's something I'll always remember because it's my first like Hermes bag and like Hermes in-store purchase. Hopefully it gets me a brick in someday, but we'll see <laughs> so yeah i i got rid of that and no regrets on that one i swear this next bag is like one of the worst decisions i have ever made selling it not buying it buying it was one of the best decisions i've ever made selling it was one of the worst decisions i've ever made and this bag is the heart ysl in the croc embossed little clutch i regret it so much but the reason why i sold this bag when i did was because i literally did not use it i think i used it max three four times and i did have it for a long time so when i was seeing you know what kind of stuff i want to get out of my collection to bring new stuff in this is one of the bags that i actually thought about because i didn't wear her much and i was trying to build my collection with stuff i actually use i don't i just i made a rational decision like it was rational at the time but i wish i wouldn't have done that just because it was a hard bag like it was just so pretty and it would have served me some purpose later on and i regret it so i'm trying to find it again and i'm gonna buy it again mark my words i will have this bag again so if you have this bag do not think of selling it or sell it to me i'll buy it <laughs> so the last bag i'm going to talk to you guys about is the saint laurent reef gouche reef gouche the big tote with that big old name and the saint laurent i sold this bag because it wasn't very practical for me it is a very it's a very beautiful bag but it just didn't work for me it was just definitely too big and too flat for me so unlike the book tote this bag is really thin although it did fit quite a lot it just i i thought it wasn't very comfortable to wear i did wear it to work some days i don't think i ever wore it out casually i only wore it to work and once to the river but i kept holding on to this bag thinking i could take it to the beach one day like I never go to the beach so i don't know what made me think i would just hog it they also now do have a smaller size so if you are looking to get this bag and you're looking for a cheaper book tote like definitely go for that one but just see the sizes before you get into them however i did find the straps to be quite uncomfortable for that bag they really digged down on my arm when carrying it like here on my arm i do want to buy it again i don't i'm not saying i hate the bag it's definitely such a beautiful bag but the size just wasn't doing it for me so i think if i buy it in a smaller size it would just it would work more i think for me i think the straps wouldn't hurt so much i think i could wear it on my body more comfortably and i could wear it more often rather than just the office so yeah that's the reason why i got rid of that toe so that concludes the list of handbags i have sold and the reasons why i hope this video helped you if you are looking to buy any of these bags if you have any questions about the bags i had mentioned please feel free to reach out to me you can comment down below i'm happy to hear from you guys also add me on instagram and i'm happy to message you guys through there and before you go before you go don't go just yet please remember to subscribe to my youtube channel follow me on instagram leave a comment like whatever. I always love hearing from you guys. So I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much. Mwah.